they said Huawei was finished. Cut off from the global semiconductor supply chain. Banned from purchasing the world's most advanced chips. Isolated from U.S. technologies that power everything from smartphones to supercomputers. Most believe the message was clear. Huawei's rise had been halted. Permanently. For years, it was the poster child of China's tech ambitions, a company challenging American dominance in telecoms, smartphones, and now artificial intelligence. But with the stroke of a pen, the U.S. government blacklisted Huawei, triggering a cascade of export controls and supply chain restrictions. Huawei was denied access to cutting-edge chip fabrication, denied ARM licenses, denied Google services. Analysts declared its AI ambitions dead on arrival. That was then. Now, in 2025, something extraordinary has happened quietly, yet profoundly. Huawei has returned to the spotlight, not with fanfare, but with force. The company has just unveiled the Ascend 910B, a powerful new AI chip that's not only competitive with top-tier processors from NVIDIA, but was built entirely outside the U.S. tech ecosystem. No TSMC, no US IP, no Western support. This isn't just a technical milestone. It's a geopolitical statement. A demonstration that China's most sanctioned tech company has not only survived, it has adapted, evolved, and re-emerged with a new kind of strength. Not loud, not boastful, but deeply strategic. The Ascend 910B is the product of years of quiet innovation. And it may just signal the beginning of a fundamental shift in who controls the future of artificial intelligence. Let's take a step back to understand what makes this moment so significant. For years, the world of AI hardware has been dominated by a single name, NVIDIA. Its GPUs, particularly the H100, are the beating heart of modern AI. If you've ever interacted with ChatGPT, generated an AI image, or read about advanced neural networks in government research, chances are NVIDIA was behind the scenes. Their chips are powerful, reliable, and refined. But they're also expensive, and in many parts of the world, especially post-sanctions, they're increasingly inaccessible. That's the context in which Huawei's new chip arrives. The Ascend 910B isn't trying to dethrone the H100 in every benchmark. It doesn't have to. What it delivers is good enough performance at scale and on Chinese soil. It's fast, energy efficient, and seamlessly integrated into Huawei's vertically developed ecosystem. More importantly, it's available to Chinese companies right now without red tape, without embargoes, and without foreign dependency. And that changes everything. In the past year alone, several of China's largest tech giants, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, have begun relying, at least in part, on Huawei's Ascend chips to power their next-generation AI models. Tools like ErnieBot and Tongyi Qianwen, designed to compete with ChatGPT, are already running on infrastructure, supported by Huawei hardware. These aren't just test cases. They're full-scale deployments used by tens of That's a real-world endorsement, and it's only the beginning. Huawei isn't simply shipping chips. It's building what it calls AI factories, massive high-density data centers filled with Ascend processors, optimized by Huawei's own AI framework called MindSpore. These factories are being used to train large language models and support real-time AI applications across a wide range of industries from fintech to transportation, from government planning to emergency services. Take, for example, Pangu, Huawei's proprietary foundational model. It's already been deployed in real-world scenarios, including natural disaster prediction systems. In recent flooding events, Pangu provided early warnings and real-time analytics to help emergency responders deploy resources more effectively. This isn't a theoretical use case. This is a sovereign AI model, trained on Chinese hardware, making life-saving decisions in real time. Now, let's talk scale because that's where this becomes even more impactful. Huawei's chips are not only powering cloud infrastructure, but they're also making their way into consumer devices. 
Its latest generation of smartphones, tablets, and laptops are beginning to integrate Ascend-based inference chips. That means AI capabilities like real-time language translation, voice control, smart photo editing, and personal assistant functionality all happening on device without relying on cloud servers. This is a fundamental shift. When AI runs locally, it reduces latency, increases privacy, and cuts down on bandwidth costs. More importantly, it keeps data inside the device and inside the country. This aligns perfectly with China's national push for data sovereignty and positions Huawei at the very heart of that movement. It's reminiscent of what Apple did a decade ago with the M-series chips, but the difference here is stark. Apple had access to the best tools, suppliers, and global partnerships money could buy. Huawei had none of that. And yet, under intense sanctions and global scrutiny, it has built something that rivals and in some ways exceeds its Western counterparts. What Huawei has achieved is more than technical success. It is strategic autonomy. And that carries implications far beyond semiconductors. The Ascend 910B is a wake-up call. Because this chip isn't just about performance per watt, it's about freedom from dependency. In a world where artificial intelligence is increasingly tied to national security, economic competitiveness, and cultural influence, the ability to build and control your own AI infrastructure is a form of soft power, and Huawei just proved it's possible. Think of it this way. If NVIDIA's H100 is a Ferrari, Huawei's Ascend 910B is a rugged, high-performance SUV. It may not win a race on a closed track, but it can handle rough terrain, go long distances, and doesn't need to stop at a Western garage for spare parts. And nations around the world are India, Brazil, Russia, South Africa, and dozens of other countries that have watched the geopolitical tech battles unfold are now asking, if Huawei can do this under sanctions, why can't we? That's the true significance of the Ascend chip. It's not just a processor, it's a blueprint. It shows that a nation state or company can be locked out of critical supply chains and still build its own future. It shows that innovation doesn't always have to start in Silicon Valley. And it suggests a more fragmented, multipolar future for global technology, one where the rules are no longer dictated by just a few powerful players. Of course, the West still holds enormous advantages. NVIDIA's dominance in software ecosystems, CUDA tooling, and developer mindshare is unmatched. But control of infrastructure is slowly slipping from being a monopoly to a negotiated space where alternatives exist and global competition is real. That reality brings with it new questions. How will nations choose their AI partners? Will they value performance above sovereignty? Or will we see a world where every major country builds its own vertically integrated AI stack, just like Huawei? It also raises an important point for consumers and businesses alike. In a world of rising AI nationalism, who controls the chips, controls the data. Who controls the data, controls the future. And Huawei is making its case. If you want independence, we can show you how to get there. This story isn't about a single company. It's about a fundamental shift in how technological power is built, used, and distributed. Huawei was supposed to fade away. Instead, it came back stronger and with a vision that may define the next decade of digital infrastructure. So now the question is, are we witnessing the beginning of a new global balance in tech? Is the West ready to adapt to a world where innovation is truly decentralized? Or is this just the first chapter in a much larger contest for control over the future? We want to hear from you. Is Huawei quietly winning the long game in AI? Or is this simply the beginning of an arms race that will push everyone east and west to build better, faster, smarter systems? Leave your thoughts in the comments. We read them all. And if you found this story insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because the next chapter in the global tech race is already being